Hello everyone and welcome back, Zeb here. Back to show you just a really quick uh, way to install NMOD 6 for Terraria 1.3. Uh, I've had some requests to do it, so I thought I'd do it really quick for the people that are just saying they just can't quite figure it out. It's very, very simple, so it's just only going to be a couple minute long video. So, right off the bat, you do need Game Launcher to have N Terraria. so if you don't have that, I'm going to run through that real quick. Easiest thing, go to Google. Google's easy. Just type in Game Launcher, I already have it, Terraria 1.3, you're going to click on it, I already have it up, so it's going to bring you here, just go down, click the download for other useful links, it'll pop this open, you can click Game Launcher Installer, blah blah blah, hit your download, Game Launcher Installer, just hit Run, I'm not going to go through the whole thing because I already have it, but I can take you through all the steps, next, accept, next, keep it just in Terraria, you keep all these things base, makes it very easy. Um, next, next. This is the part that people usually get tripped up on here. So location of Terraria assembly. So the easiest way to really figure this out is to literally just type in Terraria into your search bar. Um, click on Terraria. I got my thing over here on a different screen. I'll pull it up. And if you have it under Steam, it might show up under uh, a different thing, but if it's under Steam, this is the easiest way. Go to your Steam library, Steam apps, so whichever disk it's under. You know, I have a couple hard drives, but just go to your Steam library, Steam apps, common. There's Terraria. Awesome. And all you got to do is click on Terraria original backup, or it'll say Terraria, whichever one you have under here. As you can see, my end mod is already in here, so that's going to be also for later. So I will keep that up. So. Same thing, go to browse, whatever drive, hard drive that you have it in. Steam library, Steam apps, common, Terraria, Terraria original backup. You hit open, and if you do this wrong, it'll actually not let you continue. It'll be like, this isn't a valid uh, thing or whatever, but uh, you're gonna, see it even has Terraria here, but Terraria original backup, it even says right here, or Terraria.exe, whichever one shows up. Now I'm not gonna do it because I already have it, so. That is the only part that people get mixed up on. Just hit next, continue through all that. Game launcher will show up. And if you can't find it on your screen, you know, just type in game launcher. It'll show up for you that the file that it comes under. So that is how to get game launcher. Really simple. And that's the uh, new game launcher for 1.3. So once you have that, same thing for looking up uh, nmod. Just type in nmod Terraria 1.3. You click it. I was already here, but whatever. Just go down a little bit here. I don't want to go too fast so you don't see it, but it's the first link you see. You'll say Terraria 6 zip. That is the drop. You're going to click on that. That is the download. You can see I already had this open. You are just going to open that. And now the exact same place where you looked up your Terraria original backup. And for the record, if, you, if I don't explain this as accurately as you would want me to or show you to, how do you install this mod? You just have to put the files in the download folder and open it from Game Launcher. So you're putting these files in the same place that you just put Game Launcher. So let me, oops, that was definitely not it. That was Skype. Let me open this back up. So you're going to just extract to, and again, I can pull my other uh, folder right over here. Is that, uh, hey, that's the wrong folder. Don't listen to me. This folder. That was wrong one. Anywho, um, your Steam Library, Steam Apps here, and you're just going to extract to this area that it says here that you just pulled your uh, game launcher into. So mine is SSD2, Steam Library, so you just extract to, let me pull this over, got everything coming up on other screens here. So you're going to have it over here, I don't know, a lot of people are not comfortable with doing these things, so I'll go a little slower. This is my SSD too, so just your hard drive, you're going to pick your hard drive, and you're going to go in, mine's under Steam Library, just double click it, or the arrow, Steam Apps, Common, do, do, do. find Terraria, there's Terraria, you don't have to open it, just hit Terraria and just hit OK, it'll extract all the files there, again, I'm not going to do it because I don't want to screw up my thing, but you hit OK, it'll extract the files into your Terraria folder that your game launcher just came from. You can also launch your game launcher before you do this to make sure you got the game launcher part right. That would probably be a smart idea. 
So once that is done, you can either launch Game Launcher from here or you should have a shortcut on your desktop that it's created. So you just click Game Launcher, pops up, and Terraria should be in here. If it's not in here, you can, as you can see, I got old ones in here that they I don't even know if they work or not, but just hit Add App and then just search for your, just, this doesn't matter as too much here, you know, it's your and Terraria. The app path is what you do, so you click that and then you just click N Terraria 6 and that'll put it in there so you can launch it from there. This is just what it's gonna, these names right here are, is what it's going to pop up like under here, so I just typed on 6. But that's all it is if it's not in there, just add app, just type in the name, but all that's important here is the add app and you just put N Terraria 6 and open. I could actually probably open that and it'll go in there twice, but I don't want to. And then there it is. You just click it, you hit launch, and you should have no problem with Entraria launching.